What's going on, y'all? Y'all know what time it is. Time for news for dudes and information women can use. Listen up. What are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about the politicians has put in place a bill to get rid of the IRS and abolish income taxes. Now, I know that sounds great. And I know I don't want to pay income taxes, but there's always conditions that go along with it. The so-called Fair Tax Act will supposedly put more money in the average working person's pocket. That average of 23% to 25% that we pay out of our checks every week, every two weeks, through income taxes, will be taken away and we'll have that money in our pockets. But the problem is with that is that money has to be compensated for. So what that means is every year the government collects to over $2 trillion through income taxes. So if they abolish income taxes, they're still going to want that money. How are they going to get it? Well, in this act, they're going to raise the sales tax 23%, which means sales tax will go to 7%. And they're going to try to get the states that don't accept sales tax to add it in and we're going to pay a lot more for everything for our food for our groceries furnitures whatever we buy we're going to pay a lot more for and now granted that same money is still put in your check so you're still not going to see it and it's going to be you're still going to use it now here's where it's tricky at here's what they're not telling us. Here's what I had to think about. When they raise the sales tax, they're going to make at least 25% more. I don't know the exact numbers, but they're going to make a great deal more than what they normally make every year because everybody will have to pay into those sales taxes. See, everybody doesn't pay income tax. That's, and, and everybody doesn't have the same ratio of how much is taken out of their checks. But we also have to consider that the unemployed, the elderly, and everyone else will still have to pay 30% sales tax. The elderly may get a break. I don't know how they're going to do that. But, uh, of course, you know, older people, senior citizens always get a break. And I'm okay with that. Um, but, needless to say, everyone who goes into a store will have to pay that extra 23% which means that they'll make more money be from the people who don't pay into income taxes. So that's where I'm wondering if it's a good idea. Well, no, okay. I do want the people who don't pay to pay more. Not Maybe not the elderly or the sickly or people like that, but those people who don't work, we would no longer have the excuse of taking care of them. So I would be okay if they paid more. Um, I'm not really okay with if I go buy a TV and the TV is $500, but I got to pay 150 in taxes. So that means it's $650. I'm, I'm really not okay with that, but... 
it is what it is and things are going to be what they're going to be regardless of whether I'm happy or not. But I really need to know what do you think? Um, because for one, yes, I would like to see more on my check. And for people who are financially savvy, who don't go out and spend money for no reason, this would be a wonderful thing for them because they're saving regardless and they don't spend maliciously. But for these people who spend maliciously, they're still going to spend that money regardless of how much taxes they're, they're get their they're pay because they think it's so wonderful uh, to own certain stuff. And it is wonderful to own, to own certain stuff. You buy what you like, have what you like. Um, but with that being said, uh, yeah, tell me what you think. Tell me if you're ready to pay 30% sales tax when you get no income taxes coming out of your check. But on that note, I'm out of here. Thank y'all for watching. This is News for Dudes. I'm out.